Hey YouTube, this is Anonymous. I'm finna show y'all how I do my full lace wig. I got it from Hairline Illusions. If you wanna know where I got it from, uh, just go to www.hairlineillusions.com. And so I use this kind of tape right here, this full lace tape. I don't use the glue because that shit get all in your damn wig and be hard to get out and them motherfuckers cost too much money for all that. And uh, I use the new skin liquid band-aid to um, put around them. You see it shiny. I use a Q-tip and dip it in there and put it around them. And I put the um, tape all around the wig. I want to get my hair a break from the flat irons and blow dry and all that. And this is the inside. It's lace. Or lace. It's all French, I mean Swiss lace. That's what kind of lace it is. And I use this flesh color um, wig cap. And I think, yeah, that's all I did. I just washed it and everything. So it's clean. You just wash it like you do your own hair. I wash mine on my head in the shower because it's more easier and it won't get tangled up. And this is all I already been perm hair. Uh, yeah, but my black one, it's original, like hair on somebody's head, it's just a straight hair, it, it wave up when I, um, wet it, this one wave up too, but I can flatten it back out and make it look straight again, but anyway, like I said, I got the tape all around, on the inside and the back, right here, see the tape, so I take it and... I put it on and all the loose hair out the way so you won't get none stuck down and you line it up ear to ear make sure you got it right it's for the people that want one or thinking about getting one this is how I do mine my advice is don't put the glue on it because I did that to my black one and um, it was real hard to get that stuff off Real hard. So that's why I started buying this tape. Hairline Illusion, people. Go check them out. So, and you pin that up out the way. And you're going to have a little stray hair or whatever. So, I take that. I make sure I got my ends, I mean my ear to ear right. And I pull it down. Make sure I got the back right. Then I flip it up. Like this, you gotta be real careful with these Swiss laces because they tear easy. And so I pull the tape off. I mean the paper off the tape carefully. Then I make sure I got everything right and I take it and I mash it in. Take this out. Then just mash it in as you go. And then once you get it on, you can like take a comb. Like this and mash it in. I kind of messed it up because I'm trying to show y'all, but it ain't gonna come up, so let's see. Oh shit. Once it's on there, people, it is on there. You got to use the lace release to take it off. I don't care about having the tape because like right here, where you can see that, I always have mine covered up because I love buying. So mash it in like that then take it take your pins out and then with the back I need help all the time because I want that did right so I get the famous Charlotte boy to do the back for me you ready? yeah So let me turn around, baby, so they can see how you do it. I'm turn around. 
you have to line yourself up and everything like that. So you have to get a line so everything stick good. You gotta be very careful putting the tape off of the back. Yeah, because, because, I ain't put because the back, the back is got lined by your ears, and you can't let the tape stick back on the wig. So you got to have your hair up because it's gonna line, it's gonna come down by your ears. And when it come down by your ears, you got to have it lined up just like your hairline. If it don't be by your hairline, it's gonna, it ain't gonna look right. So you got to have somebody help you out through the back. And, and, don't you, and, pull. And, and don't pull it. Because you're a tear. You're a tear. You tear the tape or you miss the tape up, you're going to start all over again. So. And plus the tape. Grab it. Tell them why the tape won't stick good on mine, babe, because I ain't put no glue on it. But on that black one, it stick, the tape back there, it stick real good. And make sure the tape that you got on the bottom lines up with the tape on the wig or the bottom of the wig. And you lay it down and you stretch it, lay it down ear to ear. And once you lay it down ear to ear, you go from one side to the next. Lift your ear up so you can get right under your ear. Apply pressure. Apply pressure to the back where the hairline is. You kind of rub it with your thumb. All the way around. Check your sides. Make sure your sides are lined up good. And lay it. Once you lay it, once you get it laid right like you want to, you rub it with your thumb. You rub it all the way around. All the way around. Because the adhesive of the tape is so strong, once you put it on, that's it. You mess up the first time, you're going to have to use lace removal and everything to do it all over again. So that's going to prolong your time. So if you want to do it right, take your time and do it right the first time. Once you rub it in, thumb it up real good, use your fingers or a comb or whatever you prefer. After that, it's on there. You can get in a fight, they'll pull your head off. I'm telling you, it's on there. <laughs> they'll pull your head off, man. Won't nobody know is your hair or not because once they put it, man, you're going to be, it's on there, man, like crazy glue. <laughs> it is, it's on there. <laughs> All right, that's it. It's it's down real flat in the back seat. Look in the back. You're gonna have like baby hairs in the back, so it's gonna look like it's your real hair. So it ain't gonna be no no messy glue looking. It's gonna be exactly like your hair. So nobody ain't gonna be able to tell the difference in between yeah, your hair or the wig. Yeah. So, and then the wig got baby hairs all over, so it, it covers up everything, so it looks original. So once you're done, that's it. Voila. Time to style. Yep. So, I ain't gonna, um, I haven't flat ironed it yet since I um, washed and blow dried it. But just to sh give you a little sneak peek, I'm gonna flat iron my bang on, and um, flat iron the hair. And comb it out, and um, I got my flat irons on, so I hit a little piece and let you see once I comb everything out. Okay. And I got this one like way thicker than the um, black one because the black one it was kind of on the thin side. So, this thing, boy, my hair was this long for real. Oh, man, I know I've been awake at all. I don't let my hair get past my arm. Right here, a Because I like it. And it's real easy to maintain. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm going to do the back. And I'm going to do the back real quick. Because I got to show y'all how to do the back. So, I'm going to do the back real quick. Because I got to show y'all how to do the back. Stuff like that and see you get harder. Harder. Do it any kind of way you want. 
treat also, them like it's yours. Also let them know, you know, if they're gonna get one, always get a, a cap at the bottom. That's gonna look like, like the scalp. scalp. So it won't so when you part it, it'll just like your scalp and you won't have this no. This cap I got on for this one, it's for the black ones, but um I haven't I've been too lazy and since I ain't been wearing it to order me a, um, another one. The, 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 they go with the under this one for the flesh tone coat. So I'm a, I'm a flat iron one little piece and let you see real quick. Real quick. And there you go. So silky. Alright. Hope this was helpful to somebody. Alright. Bye bye.